Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we are taking a look at all the critters you need to catch before the end of January in New Horizons. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So we are 10 months into the release of New Horizons and pretty much up to date with the latest content but as always we are coming to the end of another calendar month so we will see the usual shift in critters that we can encounter around the New Horizons island. Of course these critters aren't gone forever as they will spawn back in eventually but if you're looking to complete the museum by donating one of each of these critters to blathers or working towards unlocking some golden tools it's worth double checking you've caught everything currently spawning as some will be leaving for a while. Now this is the same for every region across both hemispheres and highlighting all the critters leaving the island last time seemed to really help a lot of you out so naturally we're back again to run through all the bugs, fish and deep sea creatures you need to keep your eyes open for over the next few days before February begins and they all disappear. Now given it's still the middle of winter for another month here in the northern hemisphere not many critters will be leaving as there's hardly any currently spawning and this month the same goes for the southern hemisphere given they're in the middle of summer. Anyway, starting with the Northern Hemisphere, you'll be happy to know there are no bugs or fish leaving the island, but there are two deep sea creatures leaving including the abalone and the lobster. The abalone is fairly uncommon and moves at an average speed, but can be encountered during the evening and through the night from 4pm through to 9am, whereas the lobster is a rare creature and moves pretty quickly, so may be slightly more challenging to catch. Luckily, it spawns all day. Both of these critters return in June and April respectively, so don't worry too much if you haven't been able to find one yet. If you've already caught a lobster but fancy doing some deep sea diving, definitely try to catch more as they sell for 4,500 bells each, which is super handy. Anyway, that's all the critters leaving the northern hemisphere, totaling only two to look out for if you haven't caught them already. Moving on, players in the Southern Hemisphere also have a pretty easy month as there's only a handful of critters leaving there too. These critters include the honeybee, the tadpole and the seaweed, which are all common and super easy to encounter. But if you haven't found them yet or you're pretty new to the game, the honeybee can be found flying around flowers during the day between 8am and 5pm. The tadpole is slightly more difficult as it spawns in ponds and I know some people, myself included, have trouble getting things to spawn in ponds. Luckily tadpoles spawn all day. And finally the seaweed is of course a common sea creature that doesn't move around and again can be caught all day. All of these critters won't be returning to the island until September with the exception of the seaweed which can be encountered again in April. Of course if for some reason you're having trouble finding a tadpole just terraform a new pond or make your existing pond slightly bigger and they should start spawning in. And that's pretty much all the critters leaving the southern hemisphere at the end of January, totaling only three to look out for, which is pretty easy. So there we have it, that's a pretty easy month for all those critter catches out there. Of course, we are only one month away from the next seasonal shift where the northern hemisphere will go into the spring and the southern hemisphere will go into the autumn, at which point we'll see a pretty large shift in the critters we can encounter around the New Horizons island. But what do you think about these creatures? Are you completely up to date or have you only just started catching them? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Anyway, for now, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you're an Animal Crossing fan, don't forget to subscribe. As be uploading a bunch of New Horizons news as and when it happens. Until then, I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters as well as this channel's members. You guys absolutely rock and truly help me upload as regularly as I do. I couldn't do it without you. Don't forget to head over to our Discord server too. And of course, if you made it to the end of the video, please comment pond just to let me know you did. That would be super awesome. And please be sure to include what other category of critters you'd like to see added to the game in a future update. It could be anything. I'd love to know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. Please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.